I'm just doing a little experiment. I'm adding a zipper to the binder project um, pattern. So what I've done here is I printed out the front. Um, this is just the front underlay, but you would do this if you were adding a zipper to the binder, you would do this adjustment to the front underlay, the front overlay, and to the um, stable layer front patterns. So what I've done is I've just um, drawn the center line between the two arrows and then I've added a half an inch um, to the pattern and then trimmed the rest of the pattern off. I have sort of a 90 degree addition from the V rather than jogging back up the other side of the neckline. Um, I I think we're just going to see how it goes. So I have all the parts here. So these are the mesh underlays. There's a single back and two fronts. And then the stable layers, the single back and two fronts. So we'll start just like we do with the regular binder. Um, I'll start with the backs because that's probably familiar. So I'm just going to pin the um, stable layer onto the mesh layer and top stitch that. And that is exactly what would be done zipper or no. So do that. Um, I'm hoping that my sound is better in this video. Um, than it was in my original binder video, but I am voicing it while I'm making it and my furnace might come on and my daughter might make noises. <laughs> um, she's old enough to care for herself, but um, I don't want her to have to be quiet in her own house. Okay, so that is the back with the, the stable layer pinned to the mesh layer. And then we're gonna do the same for the fronts. Okay, so I'm just making sure that I do these um, one one side and one the other sides because they meet, I'd like them to be as symmetrical as possible. So I'm just placing the stable layer on top. Okay, and I'll pin those in place. Oops, I went to um, pin down the fronts. Okay, so I've pinned across the top and the bottom of the stable layer, but also down the center front because I think I might stitch that as well when I zigzag. Um, it's just, they're gonna be slippy against each other, so I wanna minimize my irritation. Okay, so the next step is the zigzag. And I'm not sure that this is gonna show. So we have our two fronts. Like that. And we have our back. like this. So I'm going to find my underlays and match up those shoulder seams. So if I just look at my side seams here, um, this is the overlay because it's longer. So I'm going to match um, the wrong side of the back to the um, wrong, <laughs> the wrong sides together. So the this is um, the stable layer on top of the mesh. I'm going to place that against the wrong side of the back, and then I'm going to lay those out on the table. Then I'm going to take the 
this none of this matters this is just me being obsessive if you don't care what your binder looks like just match up your shoulder seams with the jersey inside and the mesh outside but me being obsessive i say wrong side up on the mesh wrong side down on the um jersey and then for the fronts wrong side up on the jersey right sides together and then wrong side down on the mesh so the wrong sides of the mesh and the jersey are meeting once again just me being obsessive so now i'm going to pin these four layers together at the shoulders Okay, so let's just stitch those to get them out of the way. Oh, turn on your machine. Okay, and now the overlay, I'm placing right sides together and I'm going to stitch them together at the shoulder seams as well. So once again, that front is in two halves and that's going to be a little bit different and maybe unruly, but it's not, it's not a big deal yet. It's when we get out the zipper that it gets exciting. Okay, so now I am going to open up that neckline and I'm going to stitch all layers together at the neckline with the jersey right sides together so that's the underlay with the attached mesh and then this is the overlay so i'm going to offset the serge at the shoulders and then just pin around the whole neck Oh, I've made a mistake. Okay, so when I sewed this mesh, let's see what's going on here. I did a lot of talking and I made a mistake. Um, my mesh is the wrong way up. So what I'm going to do is just unpick this shoulder serge here and um, restitch it. So basically, um, my armhole is coming towards my neck and my neck is going towards my armhole, just on the mesh, not on the jersey. If you're, I'm doing this so quickly. If you're unpicking a serge, um, you just need to pull the needle thread. So I already pulled that second, just pulled that second row of stitches and it comes out very easily. So if I just pick the um, the needle thread, not the looper. Yeah, we're getting into something. Anyways, you can tell what the needle thread is. If you just pull that, you can very quickly undo a surged thread. So I'm just flipping my mesh layer and then I am going to pin that again and sew that back together. If anyone wants more detailed unpicking advice, um, let me know and I will film some. I make lots of mistakes. And um, stitching. Okay, so now I'm going to continue pinning that neckline. Now there's actually one easier part about um, making this 
with a zipper and that is the um, the armhole doesn't have to be flipped around the opposite armhole we can just pin them as this is running um, it's been two days and uh, we're gonna get back to this find your project so I thought I had lost my footage um, in uh, the last portion, so I thought I was going to have to unpick and redo, but everything's fine. My devices were just being silly. So this is the neckline of the zippered binder pinned, and I'm just going to stitch around the neckline. And um, yeah, I was gonna say which way up, but I'm not sure it matters. Turn on your serger. Good start. Turn on the light. Okay. So that's that. That is the neckline stitched. Now the thing that's different in this zippered version is we don't have to wrap one armhole around the other, we leave it right sides together and we just pin both of the armholes now, just as they are. So I'm going to maintain that offset um, at the shoulder and just pin the opposite shoulder, just pin the armholes and stitch them closed. Okay, so that's the armholes pinned, and I'm just going to stitch each side. Okay, so those are, this is the neckline, these are the armholes. We're gonna reach in between the jersey layers at the back through the um, arm and pull the fronts to the right side, like this. If you've ever made like a girl, a little girl's dress, this is a pretty standard pattern. So you're reaching in through the shoulder seam to the front and just pulling the front through. And then you have your binder. It's all stitched up except for the side seams and the hem. And um, you're gonna do the side seams next. So it looks like this. So what I'm going to do is wrap, I'm going to open up the binder um, at the place where the jerseys meet and sort of splay it out in front of myself. Okay, so I have, this is the side seam open from one hem to the other. I have these um, serges at the underarm. I'm going to meet those um, together and put the seam allowances towards the mesh and pin. And then I like to sew um, this seam jersey side up. So I'm gonna pinch the jersey sides together in some tweezers, fold the jersey side over, doesn't really matter which side, and I'm going to transfer that pin onto the jersey side.
and then I'm going to take all those layers. So we have the, the mesh and then the jersey underlays and then the other mesh and then the jersey overlays. And I'm going to pin the bottoms of the jersey overlays to each other. So that's just two layers. And then I'm going to pin the all other layers one inch up from that point. And then, so mesh, and then the jersey underlays, and then the other mesh. So that's all layers I'm going to pin there. And then I'm going to even out all of these layers along the whole side seam and just pin those together so that nothing gets missed when I sew the seam. This may be the most time consuming part of um, sewing this pattern, but um, try not to do it too quickly and get frustrated. There are a lot of layers, but this is what makes this binder sturdy and breathable and also not um, exposing your skin to synthetic fabrics. Annie has opinions. <laughs> uh, I, I assure you the furnace is on. Okay, and so we want to make sure to do the same thing exactly to the other side seam. So we're meeting up the underarms and we're pinning the seam allowances towards the mesh side. pinching the jersey between the tweezers and then folding hard down towards the um, jersey side. So the same way that we've done the opposite side. And this time I'm leaving my pins on the mesh side um, and repinning that spot because I like to stitch down both sides of the binder. I, I don't want to switch a stitch up from the bottom of the binder. Okay, so we're pinning the side seam. We're starting with the jersey outer lay and pinning the bottom of that at the hem. Okay. <laughs> I think that's good. Maybe that's better. Pinning the bottom of the hem. Penny, go find your mat. Um, she does have a heated mat that's on all the time. She's she's had her breakfast. Um, it's just she doesn't like when anyone else gets attention in that couchy hill. Okay, so one inch up from the hem, we're starting all other layers. And then we're pinning all layers together, just making sure everything meets along that side seam. Annie, you need to go away now. our binder with the side seams pinned and I'm just going to sew from the armpit down each side. So 
there's our binder and before we turn it right side out, I'm just going to pull my um, serges into the seam at the armpit. I'm not worried about the bottom. Okay, so it's like a little vest now and I'm just going to um, do the hemming and the bar tack and then it's zipper insertion. So first I will pin the hem. So I'm just going to clip into the serge um, just below where these the underlays meet the overlay to the um, second needle stitch. I just want to be able to offset these serges when I fold it up to hem. So that will make sure that I'm less likely to skip stitches. So here's the side seam and the serge is on this side and I'm just gonna fold the serge to this side and fold up the hem. Okay. And now I'm gonna use my little throwing star ruler to measure one inch up from the bottom of the outer lay and um, pin, well, I just shift the underlays up to meet that one inch mark. And then I will fold up the bottom and pin it. It's a little rolly and tricky. It's, I never promised this would be easy, but this is the best solution I've had so far. I like to um, have all these layers at the side stitched together. It acts almost like boning. Otherwise, you could do something where you sew the neck and the um, armholes. You could sew across the bottom and then the side seams in a loop, but they would shift against each other. Um, but we could, we could do that if you wanted to try it. But that would only work um, for the zippered version wouldn't work for the other version. I'm probably talking nonsense to you people. Sorry. <laughs> we'll just hem. So there is the hem. Oh, no, not done. Premature celebration. Okay, so the hem is pinned and I am going to do that off camera because that angle isn't easy to set up. Um, and I'm going to bar tack the underarms and I believe in the other video that is timestamped. It's a three step zigzag at the widest setting with the feed dogs dropped so that your machine isn't trying to move forward and that will just stabilize that underarm. Um, and then I will meet you up at the straight stitch for the zipper insertion.